I am David Rudder, and this is my story. I was in Belmont with my family. That's where I was born. Back in 1954, something happened that marked a change in my life. Something that would affect me forever. There was a neighbor who was a carpenter. And every day he, would, he used to come and we had a little ritual. He would come out with his tools in a box and spread them all over the ground. And I would go and gather them, run and gather them and put them back in the box. On this particular day, I crawled towards the box, according to my mother, dragging, dragging on my hands and knees, mostly my hands. And everybody thought it was a joke, you know? And then they realized that it was, it happened again. And suddenly they said, but well, this child is not walking. So my mother panicked and she took me to the hospital. And I, I stayed there for a couple months actually but I was diagnosed with polio. I was busy making music. We started hearing about people falling sick, going to the hospital. Some people didn't get better. It was spreading. They had to close the schools. I remember when Carnival came around. It was postponed because Lord Kitchener, even Lord Kitchener and a couple of the other characters recorded the fact that we didn't have a Carnival then. I can't remember experiencing a lot of fear, really. There was a lot of uncertainty. People didn't know what was going on, what was going, what, what was going to happen next. Amongst my friends, there was a kind of excitement to get the vaccine. We got our vaccines in school years before, I remember. In a funny way, I felt kind of free because I had, I had it already, you know? And lightning don't strike twice. <laughs> I could firsthand give people the story of my life as an example of what vaccines can do. Because had I gotten the vaccine before, I would have been all right today. I mean, I'm all right, but I mean I would be in full health. Polio affects me now as I grow older. I mean, you know, at my age, the body begins to break down, you know. So my right leg has been taking most of the weight for my entire life and my left leg has always been slightly weaker. I think we need to put aside our doubts and fears and ask questions, but at the end of the day, if something protects you, by all means, take it and protect yourself. And above all, protect your children and your loved ones. On a silver chariot, riding to the sun, leaving fire in its way, spirits on the run. This is David Rudder, and I'm fully vaccinated. The reason being, I have a family to take care of, to protect, and I have to be around to do that. Same time, thunder roll, she ball out, you see? He done start a tuna pan already. Come on.